Recently, I went on a little trip to the great city of Los Angeles, California. A city that is nothing less than a giant cesspool of famous people. I was staying at the home of Taz Taylor, CEO of Internet Money, which is a producer collective accredited with countless Billboard hits. So let's put the pieces together. Hip-hop YouTuber goes to a city where a massive amount of hip-hop artists live and work. I spend five days in a mansion filled with multi-platinum hip-hop record producers, so you'd probably guess that under the circumstances it would be pretty easy for me to link up and hang out with a bunch of famous rappers. If you thought to yourself, yeah, that all makes sense, well, you're wrong. Perfect. My name is Patrick CC, and this is how I pretended to be friends with famous rappers. Now before we start this video, there's only one thing that I ask of you, and that is to grab yourself a glass of water, because hydration is key. Okay, so we've seen this video a bunch of different times on YouTube, and truthfully, I actually thought of doing something similar to this before it went viral. I know none of you will believe me, but once I planned this trip to LA, I knew that it was the perfect time to execute this because under the circumstances that I mentioned before, it would be the most believable. So of course, we have to browse the internet to find the pictures that I'm going to Photoshop myself in, but I have a specific criteria. One can't be easily Googled. Two, it can be posted on their main Instagram because people could just go to their profile and see that it's Photoshop. And three, there needs to be a decent degree of separation between the rapper and the person that we are going to be cropping out of the photo because, well, just makes it look more believable and it's easier. Now this photo is actually posted on Gucci Mane's main page, but it's from 2016. Nobody's gonna scroll back that far. And I find it perfect. It's in a mansion that kind of somewhat, not really kind of looks like the internet money mansion that I was in, but I feel like Drake is just in a position that's really, really easy to crop out. Plus the height difference is pretty decent. Uh, Gucci Mane's a really tall guy and he's kind of leaning over and I'm about 5'10". I don't know how tall Drake is, but he looks significantly shorter in this photo. So as you can see, Drake is actually in a pretty decent position to replicate or recreate. After tons of photos, this is the one that I ended up choosing. I would say one of the most important things about doing this Photoshop stuff is to get rid of the green as much as you possibly can, because that is the number one thing that people are looking for. Let's see, place me over Drake. Okay, I kind of hit the pose pretty decent. Just get rid of all that green around the edges. Got to get rid of the top of Drake's head, recreate the background. Got very lucky that this background is really simple. Blur the edges, add a little shadow on my arm right there. Honestly, once, once I got to this point, that was the thing that I thought was the most unbelievable. I mean, I don't have big hands. I don't necessarily have small hands either, but if you just zero in on both of our hands, his looks like a baseball glove. <laughs> Add a little shadow to my hoodie. And what I did to each photo was actually go into Instagram and just do a quick few touch-ups to the photo just to make it a little bit more distorted, to kind of just make it seem a little bit more believable. So here's the Photoshop and then here's the final. And caption is absolutely everything. It's arguably more important than the photo itself. I leveled up in LA. <laughs> Fire emoji. Let's browse through the comments. No way, please tell me there's an interview on the way. When have I ever interviewed any rapper? Burr! Classic. I got $100 on this not being photoshopped. Well, you're gonna owe somebody some money. <laughs> Somebody said his music still sucks. Well, that's, that's a big L. I hope the homie is hydrated though. Yeah, me too. He's deaf filming a new video called Photoshopping Myself with Rappers, so I'm just gonna say hello to the camera right now. Well, you know what? You're not allowed to predict my life like that, so your name gets blurred out. <laughs> Next, we got Jaden Smith. I had to replace an ego. I apologize to the legend. Now this one was gonna be a lot harder because they're both sitting down, so I'd have to get a replica of me sitting down. Um, so we got this little metal chair in the office and I tried to do my best to replicate the way that he's sitting, but it was really difficult because he's sitting, I don't know, it doesn't seem like it, but he's sitting in a really, really weird way. And also he has a massive head compared to mine. <laughs> but what I did like about this photo is that if you 
you look at like the pillows and the cushions, there aren't any creases. This must be the world's stiffest couch and the world's stiffest pillows because he just kind of has his arm like awkwardly resting on the pillow. There's no dent. So it actually should be really easy for us to just put me on top of that. Again, got to get that green out. And this is me going over Nego. If you look at it just from here, you'd think there's no way that this is possible. He's not, I'm not even in the right position. Doesn't even look accurate at all. But Photoshop is a powerful tool. Gotta reshape my legs a little bit. Boom, boom. Goodbye, green. Replicate the background, which is pretty easy because again, I was blessed. Very simple background. One, I mean, the one side is just super distorted, but the other side is just perfect blinds. So lucky. <laughs> And I knew that one of the most important things was taking my beanie and putting it in the reflection because I knew that people would be looking in the reflection right away, which you still couldn't even tell. Even if I didn't do this, you look in the reflection, it just looks like a blob. But still, we gave it a whirl and put my beanie in the background and just had to touch up the lighting on everything. But still, even after the Photoshop job, again, something about it just looks a little off. It's mostly color, so had to go into Instagram touch up the edits a little bit, and we go from this to this. The more I look at the original photo side by side with the Photoshop version, it almost looks like Jaden is the one that's Photoshopped. After looking at it over and over again and convincing other people that it was real, I started to believe it myself. Again, caption, Big Water Talks. As some of you might know, Jaden and Will Smith are co-owners of the brand Just Water, which follows me and actually liked the photo. So please, just, please, can I get a water sponsorship? That's all I want in 2020. It's my only goal. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, but, but not really, actually. I, I really want a water sponsorship. I mean, I am, I am the water god. Stay hydrated. Now I knew that after posting the first one, that would, one would be the most believable. The second one, however, people start to wonder what's up and I figured I'd get more comments saying, this is a Photoshop video and I was kind of right. Patrick C. Smith got kind of a ring to it. I've never seen so much hydration in one image. That's a fact. We all know Jaden is very hydrated. I thought it was Photoshop, but there's a reflection in that TV. He meant the window, but exactly. People think they figured it out. LMAO, they don't want me to win. <laughs> Y'all don't want me to win. You want this to be Photoshop. Just because I'm a YouTuber doesn't mean I can't make big links with celebrities. <laughs> I'm constantly going back between why don't people believe me? And then I realize that, well, it is fake. So I'm kind of tricking them and it makes me feel bad. <laughs> Kind of feels slimy. I've never been more jealous than anyone in my entire life. Oh man. Okay, now I feel bad. Now I feel bad. Okay, video's over. Just kidding, video ain't over. Why aren't you verified, man? Facts. Just kidding, I'm a nobody. And someone actually did expose me and post on their Instagram story. <laughs> Why are you trying to expose me? Good thing you didn't have clout. Just saw this on Jaden's Instagram. It's real. Thank you, pistachio gods. Thank you. I'm starting to think Jaden is photoshopped and said, that's what I'm saying. Now I thought about only doing two because I didn't want to piss off my followers too much, but once I uh, came across this photo, I knew I had to. <laughs> Lilium Nosington Exington. But this picture is phenomenal because the lighting is just absolutely abundant, I guess I'll say. It's just middle of the daytime in LA. There probably wasn't a cloud in the sky. And you could see the original post, the guy held his phone up way high in the air. So it literally was just top down light. I mean, the sun was in his eyes. That's why I tried to recreate him just closing his eyes like that. And I feel like this one is the most believable. And I actually sent this photo when it was done to Skywater, who's really, really good friends with Lil Nas X. And initially he responded with big W, but then goes, wait. <laughs> But again, the more I look at this picture, the more real it looks. I mean, I know it's hard for you guys to put your mind around that because you saw the original and now you're seeing the final, but like, yo, it, it looks real. Like I've convinced myself that I actually took that picture. It looks so, so, so good. Maybe I should have started by posting this one. I think just by the time it got to me posting this, people just weren't gonna believe it. But actually I posted this one on my YouTube community because that's where my biggest following is and I've been kind of hiding this project from them. This one I said, LA was so crazy. Crazy. Did you just meet Lil Tracy? Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> ah, if you know, you know. Can't believe you got to meet Kendrick Lamar, dude. That's epic. 
<laughs> hey, Patrick and a fan. Probably not, but that'd be nice. Wow, I can't believe you just met Tyler the Creator. He just won a Grammy. <laughs> I'm not trolling, but is that Roddy Rich? Oh, the ultimate troll in one comment. I wonder, oh wait, was he really? I mean, <laughs> he might not be trolling. Damn, I can't believe Lil Nas X got to meet my man Patrick CC, hoping they stay hydrated out there. Yes. I have the best fans. You guys are... You guys really genuinely make me laugh. But when I posted on Instagram, I decided to approach the caption a little bit differently. I said, okay, so I'm gonna come clean. We didn't actually link, I just saw him across the street and snapped a quick pic. The CC in Patrick CC stands for Cap Central. No, it doesn't. It stands for Comfy Cozy. Glad to see you're working with underground artists. I'm trying to get his name out there. <laughs> oh my God, dude, Lil Nas X commented. He goes, it was nice to meet you, G. Yo, what? Just kidding. Got you. Oh, you just got Come on, this is a Photoshop video. It's all fake. You didn't think I was gonna not throw in some more Photoshop? You didn't get fooled again, did you? But this, I think, is the ultimate comment right here. Patrick, I love you, man, but if you're gonna Photoshop you in rappers' photos, at least say they're fake. Don't try to play them off as real and delete comments that say they're fake because they ruin your reputation. I never did that, but whatever. Again, I love you, no homo. And you make the best content on underground rap, but these are starting to get annoying. Are you really sitting there and you see me post on Instagram and you're like, dude, this is so annoying. Patrick posted another Photoshopping picture. It'll be okay, fresh guys. Now you know, the truth is out, I've exposed myself. So if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. My name is Patrick CC. I make videos on rap content, a lot of underground rap content, but really just a bunch of everything. I just try to make creative videos surrounding the world of hip hop. And as you can see from this video, I don't actually know any famous rappers. But yeah, if you're new, definitely subscribe, hit the like button, comment down below if I, if I got you fooled. Thank you for the amazing comments that made this video possible. But yeah, if you're new here, definitely subscribe, hit the like button, maybe even leave a comment if you're feeling generous. And um... Stay hydrated. I'm out.